What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I had a comment in my last video from a guy, his channel's called Creative Garage, C-R-E-8-T-I-V-E, -E, Garage. Um, he said he wants to see some more neon content. He's got a neon himself. Uh, I guess go check his channel out, see what he's doing with his. He's also got a couple Miatas that he's been working on. And um, I think I saw in some of his videos, he probably even got a Supra, so um, close to what I'm running with. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I got the hood off the neon. As you can see, it's black. When I bought the car, the car was completely painted red with a black hood. And I went through trying to put some flake in it. I was gonna put some like pearl flake in it. Uh, sprayed it. I guess the weather wasn't right. It was either too cold or maybe because it was raining outside. It just, it didn't really dry and have the chemical reactions like it was supposed to. So when I come out and checked it, it was textured like sandpaper. So I stripped it down, primered it, repainted it black, clear coated it again, and that's where I'm sitting now. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's swirls and hazing in it because I haven't fully finished buffing it yet. Um, I was gonna do that on down the road. I put it back on the car. I don't wanna buff on the car because I don't, you can't tell any of the cars I have now, but it just splatters everywhere. Buffing compound goes everywhere. Polish goes everywhere. So I'm, I'm gonna do it off the car to not have it all over the place. Um, I've got some pearl. It's a, a white pearl with like a blue hue to it that's going to go on the Supra. It's going to go over this grabber blue. This is Mustang grabber blue. And I'm going to put that pearl over all this. But I've got enough, I think, that I could put a little bit on this hood just to give it a little bit pizzazz. Um, hopefully make it pop a little bit more. I do want to get um, the same pearl but instead of a blue hue, something with like a red or uh, maybe a deep violet hue or something, and I want to do it over the red, just to just to give it more depth, make it a little bit different, a little more custom. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do in this video. We're gonna get this hood prepped, and we're gonna get ready, um, and hopefully we're gonna spray some pearls. Okay, guys, what's up? We got the hood on the four wheeler. I've already gone through and sprayed it down and wet sanded it a little bit. It's actually like the fourth time I've tried recording this. For some reason my camera keeps saying I have SD card error. So let's try and get this again. So I've changed what I'm doing a little bit. I'm still doing a pearl coat over the black, but instead of using the pearl I have, I went to our local port store who mixes paint into aerosol cans and had them mix me paint code HD, just the mid coat with the pearl in it. It's the pearlescent NV green that you see on like a 14 Mustang. Um, a really nice pearl color. I've sprayed the color before on my computer that I'm building. And uh, I'll show you guys that later so you can kind of see what the green looks like if you spray it out or whatever. Um, but I got that mixed up into an aerosol can and we're gonna spray that over this black. I'm just going through and scuffing it up. I've got a thousand grit right here. Wet sanding it just to help it not bunch up in the sandpaper or put any big divots or anything. Just go through and Scuff it all up, get it all even. We'll go over here and grab a shop towel. And get all this, what would be dust if it wasn't mixed with water, but we'll go ahead and just get all this cleaned off. We'll get it all prepped up and stuff. Once we get all this off, make sure there's no oil, there's no dust or anything like that. We'll go ahead and spray this mid coat on. And you actually see right there, some of that blue from the Supra was on a 
mixing stick, I think, and came off when I went to go spray. So, now I got some super paint in my neon paint, but no big deal. I'm not building a SEMA show car or anything. I just enjoy doing tiny little custom things to my cars to make them mine, to make them stand out, make them different. Um, pretty easy stuff anyone can do. Worst case scenario is I mess it up and I just go through and redo it again. The paint on the hood actually is Duplicolor Paint Shops. Um, really easy system to use. It's already pre-mixed and everything. If you have a compressor and a spray gun, you put the paint in the spray gun and you spray it out. That's it. So a really easy system to use. It is not a single stage. So you do have to do like a base and clear at least. Um, if you don't know what a single stage is, a single stage is what's on the super right now. The, the color and the clear and everything is all mixed into one. So it's, I put one paint in the gun and I spray it out and then I can buff and sand from there. Um, single stages, they don't have as much depth and shine as a normal base clear system would but they're easier to spray out and stuff so like this one i did everything and there's no black on my rags or anything because i'm sanding off the clear coat that one if i sand that one everything will be blue the dust will be blue the water will be blue everything will end up turning blue from where i sand it so that's another drawback to like a single stage setup so we'll go ahead and we'll put some of this on and get it all ready for paint. This will get off any oils or dust or contaminants that might be in the paint that might cause fish eyes or anything like that. Cause the paint not to adhere. So we'll go through, get it all wiped down. I don't have tack cloths or anything, so we're just going to go ahead and use these paper towels. They're not lint free like they should be, I know, but got to do stuff on a budget. It's hard times. Hard times. I'm not a professional. This is all for fun. Stuff you guys can do at home. And if you've got projects you've been doing at home, stuff you've done or something like that, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, I love to see other people's stuff. Like I said, I have that guy, Creative Garage. He commented, said, hey, let's see more neon content. I went and checked his channel out. I commented, I subscribed. If you guys are doing something, I'd like to see it. I'd like to see what you guys got going on. Maybe you guys will be doing something that I would like to try. Maybe I'm doing something you guys want to try. Maybe I'm doing something and you guys know how to do it better. Leave a comment. Let me know what's up. I try to reply to everyone that comments on my videos. Positive, negative, it doesn't matter. So we'll get all this wiped off. Go ahead and grab that can. I believe I left it in the house. And we'll start shooting this. So this is what we got right here. Green Envy Pearl. And that's how they mixed it. Just in a nice, easy to spray rattle can. Super simple. See how this turns out it sprays pretty good this is actually a different can than they sold me last time but last time it sprayed pretty good
And like I said, this is gonna be a mid coat, so I don't have to go super heavy with it or anything like that. I'm still gonna put clear over all this. I just wanna make sure I get a nice coat, and it actually looks like, and it does say, I believe, gold pearl, so. It's actually gonna be a little bit more gold than I thought. It doesn't look that way over the green. It just looks like a nice pearl, but trial and error, just for fun. It's actually streaking and stuff, which I don't remember it doing. when I sprayed my computer. It's kind of hard to see in this light. When I sprayed that computer, it sprayed out really good. I don't know if because it was smaller or what, but I didn't have tiger stripes or anything like that. exactly like I wanted so might have to do something different let's see kind of wondering what it would look like on this red so let's try to do it somewhere just to see what it looks like hmm a bit more gold than I thought really that actually might look pretty good on the red. So, I've come to find out pearls are extremely hard to spray and everyone says it and they are 100% correct. Pearls are hard to spray. And out of this can makes it so much harder because it's not wanting to come out in a nice wet coat, I guess, like it should. See, when you do something small, it probably comes out a lot better. And maybe it doesn't help being on a darker color, but we're going ahead and let that dry. Um, and then I'll probably go through and wet sand that. Maybe, I don't know, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Trial and error, it's all for fun. So for some reason, audio didn't record right here. I'm not sure if the mic came unplugged or what exactly happened. So basically the gold didn't work out quite like I thought it was going to. Um, when I sprayed it on the green color, I believe I said earlier in the video, it just overlaid over the green, giving a good pearl accent to the green. But for some reason, when you spray it on black, it just becomes straight up gold. Uh, I actually will bring out the computer in a clip here in a second and show you guys what the pearl actually looks like on top of the green itself. I don't know why it does this on black. Um, it's sort of weird and I didn't expect it. I might leave it like that for a little bit. Not 100% sure. I might go through with a semi-transparent black just to, to hide it under the black and give that pearl accent that I was looking for. But um, let's jump over to the clip where I show you 
the computer so you can compare the pearl over the black to the pearl over the green. So right here you could sort of see the green. Um, I don't know if you can see the pearl exactly like it, I see it in real life, but it's got a nice transparency. It doesn't really overdo the green or anything like that. It just adds a pearl effect, which is sort of what I was looking for over the black, but it just didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. I'm really confused on why it overtakes all the black like it does instead of just accenting it like it does the green and even the red when I sprayed it on the rear spoiler to the SRT it just it acted more like uh, an accent than it did a color itself so I might leave it like this for a little while sorry the video got all messed up and lost audio and had to dub over everything but I guess I'm going to leave it off here, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.